Andrew McCarthy, National Review Online, in every trial, every single trial, judges solemnly instruct American citizens who are compelled to perform jury duty that they will have a sworn obligation to decide cases objectively without fear or favor. If a person is unwilling or unable to do that, if the person believes he or she has a bias or prejudice, especially one based on a belief that people are inferior or superior due to factors like race, ethnicity, or sex, that person is not qualified to be a juror. Indeed, prospective jurors are told that they are not qualified if they harbor even the slightest doubt about their ability to put such considerations aside and render an impartial verdict. If the judge or the lawyer for either side senses bias, the juror is excused for cause. The parties are not even required to use their discretionary or peremptory jury challenges to strike such a juror. Rather, the judge makes a finding that the juror is not fit to serve. The stress on impartiality does not end once the prospective jurors are finally selected to sit as trial jurors. Instead, the admonition to consider the case fairly, impartially, and without bias of any kind is often repeated many times throughout the trial, and even after that, it is standard procedure to drum the obligation into the jurors again right before they retire to deliberate on a verdict. Here are the standard instructions. You have a, two duties as a jury. Your first duty is to decide the facts from the evidence in the case. That's your job and yours alone. Your second duty is to apply the law that I give you to the facts. You must follow these instructions even if you disagree with them. Perform these duties fairly and impartially. Do not allow sympathy, prejudice, fear, or public opinion to influence you. You should not be influenced by any person's race, color, religion, national ancestry, or sex. So let's forget labels like racist for a moment in our society. Racist a radioactive term, whether or not it's applied accurately. I want instead to home in on the premium our law places on impartiality, how noxious it regards the very notion that any important decision might be influenced by any person's race, color, religion, national ancestry, or sex. No one's saying that those attitudes don't exist or even that somebody's necessarily a bad person for having such attitudes. Sometimes uh, such attitudes are, f are fostered by bitter life experiences that people find themselves unable to get over, but we strive to keep those attitudes out of our law. Not now. We want somebody who probably couldn't pass muster to be a juror to be a Supreme Court justice, because as President Obama said to the assembled multitudes in Los Angeles yesterday, I want to see her march up those steps and start handing out some justice. It was quite uh, telling. Okay, moving on to other things.